Hello everyone, my name is Ishan Beg, and in my last post I explained how to download and upload images in ADF application and this time uh, in this post I will demonstrate how to store these images in a blob column in Oracle database. So I prepared a simple example where I stored these images in a blob column and then reading it using the uh, image servlet so few steps you have to follow let's uh, go through the first of course uh, you have to have a need to have a table with a blob column then you will create a business components over it and make sure that the blob domain is selected third step is to create an input form with image component we will have a button to process that image and actually the main thing is the manage bin which is processing the image to store in the blob we will go through this and uh, at last we will create a servlet which reads from the database table so I will not create all steps but I will explain uh, the example in detail here and uh, first of all I want to mention that uh, I got little help from this blog Mr. Jakuba I think Mr. Jakub yes and uh, he gave a very uh, great example how to work with the blobs in ADF so make sure you can go, uh, check this example as well so let me explain the steps first uh, you need to create a table I've created a, a provided a script here. We will have a sequence, image sequence, and uh, we have HR image table with image ID, descriptions, and image blob column, and a trigger actually assigning a sequence to the primary key value. And uh, here you can see I have this table already. And uh, the next step you will create a business components and the make sure that you have image blob column as blob domain type this automatically map to the blob column in Oracle and the image ID make sure you assign to DB sequence to work with the triggers automatically so this model part is completed then we will create a page I've created a simple page there is a description column the image uh, component input file component you can find it here input file component this and the image column one simple button to process the image and this so let's check how the example is working actually this is image it has no image I'm giving example example image how the example will work and we will select any type of image press save image it's processed but uh, when I commit it will display all right so it's working you can see I will go to this example image and same like you can see and how to verify it's already stored in blob you can go here and run this SQL query dbms lab dot get length the short way run this query and you see some bytes are coming so it means the image is stored and you have you noticed that we don't have in one uh, image in the one record so let's go through the detailed steps of uh, behind scene first we will create a manage bean I have created this class called upload bean and in the request and you need to create a uploaded file type of attribute with the getter setters method and this is the main method upload image which is processing on the save image button it is assigning the uh, lob column uh, the the image 
actually we read from the operating system so this is the basics like binding context you are reading binding context then into binding container dc binding container and iterating binding this by uh, iterator name is coming from actually your bindings area this image iterator from here uh, this is actually linked to your blob image blob attribute here so this and after row you are creating in this create blob domain and the my file which is coming from here and this is uh, I got from Mr. Jakub uh, example this method this method is returning the blob domain and it's taking a file component and it's processing over it writing to the buffers and returning the blob domain type so th this part is uh, fin you can now we'll see where go to this uh, input component and in the properties we will assign the value of this attribute file and in the save button we are I'm using the action as upload image and the another thing is uh, how to read this now this image will read from the image servlet we we are here and we will passing the id of the image id and uh, how this servlet work you will create a new servlet from like new in the view controller project and uh, here from here you will create http servlet and uh, the wizard will go through and it will ask you the different names and type and make sure you select only do get so servlets are basically small programs which runs on the server so I have created this image servlet and uh, this everything will automatically come but the do get method you have to create something this I got from the fusion developer guide it will help and uh, here just I tell you the data source the main thing what you have to configure is the data source which is coming from here application module configurations you will edit it and select the data source and the name of this data source actually you will put here and prepare statement the SQL statement is coming image ID blob column where image ID equal to bind variable and this bind variable we are creating here with the name of id and we prepared the statement and execute query and we are getting this column name called image blob and buffering it in returning back so this pro uh, this image servlet then we will map to our image source and here you can see little broader image servlets call question mark id equal to the bind variable value so this will read on the runtime and display the image as you have seen the example so uh, hope you found it useful and understand how to store images in the blob column thanks for watching goodbye